In this video, we're going to look at how we can take a line that is not in slope-intercept form and put it into intercept form. The advantage of doing this, as we will see in our second example, is that it allows us to graph lines that are not given to us in intercept form quite efficiently. The whole idea of being in intercept form is that the equation is y equals mx plus b, or y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. The key here is that the y is completely alone. What we want to do is solve this equation, as if it were a formula, to get the y completely alone. We solve this formula in much the same way we solved other formulas, by balancing through the equal sign and getting rid of the term that has no y's on it first by subtracting 2x from both sides. This leaves us with negative 4y on the left side, and on the right side, we have 6 minus 2x. Now, you may recall that in slope formula, we like the term with x to come first. Because these are not like terms, we can list the terms in any order. So we're going to do that. We're going to put the negative 2x first and the plus 6 after it. Finally, we can get the y alone by dividing both sides by negative 4. Instead of dividing the entire thing by negative 4 on the right, we're instead going to divide each individual term by negative 4. It's kind of like distributing the divide by negative 4, which essentially comes from multiplying by 1 fourth and distributing that through. But either way, we're allowed to divide by negative 4 as long as we divide each and every term by the negative 4. Multiplication and division always happens to everybody. The y is now alone. Negative 2 over negative 4 reduces to 1 half x, and 6 over negative 4 reduces to negative 3 halves. Our equation is now in slope-intercept form. We could see that the slope is 1 half, and the y-intercept is negative 3 halves. Let's take a look at another example, where we're actually asked to graph 3x plus 4y equals 12. As you can see, we are missing the y-intercept and the slope because it's not in the correct form. So what we will need to do is solve this equation for the y. We can start doing that by subtracting 3x from both sides. We now have 4y equals, putting the x term first, negative 3x and positive 12. Finally, get the y alone by dividing by 4, and again with division, we must divide each and every term by the 4. This gives us y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 3. If we recall the slope formula of y equals mx plus b, we can quickly see that m, or the slope, is negative 3 fourths, and b, the y-intercept, is at positive 3. When graphing, we need to start at a given point. We can't start with the slope, because slope tells us how we change from one point to the next. Well, if we don't know what the first point is, we can't do any changing. So we need to start with the y-intercept at 3. Very important to make sure this goes on the y-axis, the vertical axis. A common error is to put it on the horizontal axis. That will not work. Now that we have a point, we can use the slope, which is rise over run, or rise negative 3, run 4, to get our next point. We now have, whoops, we now have our line by connecting the dots. My auto straight line is messing it up, but you get the idea. By first solving the equation for y, we're able to quickly identify the slope and y-intercept, and then we can quickly graph the line using these key points, starting at the y-intercept and using the slope to change, rise over run.